Alright, so on this one I'm going to present the circumference of Earth um, on the summer solstice, which the sun is directly overhead on the, on the uh, Tropic of Cancer. So I'll give the shadow length when the sun's the highest um, in, uh, on Syene, and then I'll do it for Alexandria. And it will give me the circumference of it. First, I need to know um, I, when what what time is the sun is the highest. So I plug in for sine, which I've already done. Come down here to June twenty first. So at uh, we got 1250. So 89 and 180. Let me double check myself with this uh, NASA website that I go to. Plug in this, uh, the Latin law and the times. But I need to convert it from 1250 um, to UTC, which is 950. So I come here. June 21st at 9.50. Okay, so I get 89 and 176. One minute later, that's the next one. Okay. So it's pretty close. Um, so... And I knew I knew that by 12:50 from from uh, converting it from 12:50, I knew it was 9:50 in UTC, and that's how I got to 9:50. All right, so I'm going to Civil 3D here, and the Civil 3D has got the uh, the sun built into this program, um, so I put in the coordinates. So I do right now. I got them plugged in already for site in. So 24008. So it's the same thing. Um, next. And then I use the old red. Next. And this is basically. Say this is your front yard. That's my local horizon or plane. Um, and then I just put a pole, and then I'll get a shadow. So I slap it right on top, and then go up, and then I need to turn on the shadows, and there'll be a little shadow since we're just north of the Tropic of Cancer, since that's where the sun is directly overhead. So I see that, so I'll get a measurement. And we'll say right there. straight out and I'll get my angle three point dimension angle So I get 0 0.71. All right, so now we'll do it for Alexandria. So 
So, at the same time, so this is Alexander, you can see right there. Same coordinates, for some reason. Um, 21st, my he's 1250. It's like 162.82. So I come here, double check myself. Same, same thing. So I go to 9.50. What was that? So one sixty two eighty two, and I got one sixty, you know, eighty two. So that's right on. All right, so let me go back into Civil three D, redo the location. So we'll get the coordinates. Alexander. Uh, Alexander. Uh, Alexander. Copy. Next. Same thing. Uh, old red next. All right, now I turn on the shadows. And so, <clears throat> since it's way north, is the shadow is going to be a lot longer. And the time is uh, 1 o'clock or 12.50. I actually have it at 12.49, but anyway, so it's at 1.61 at 82. Um, and so 1.61 to 82, so that, that, that matches. Eighty-one. Oh, that's where I got yeah, twelve fifty. So one sixty-two eighty-one. So that matches. All right. So go back into the Civil three D, and I'll get the measurement of that one. Tip of it. Three point. Dimension All right, so I'll get eight point two five five. All right, so now what is the distance between the two?
So we'll go 522.60. All right. So my calculator. So I need to subtract those. Uh, so I got eight dot two five five right here. Uh, minus point seven one equals so seven point five. All right. So I take 360 divided by 7.0 minus 8.255. So 7.5, okay, 360 divided by 7.5. Um, so I get 5.5. equals. So I got 25,084 feet. So that's that's pretty. I was only 84 feet off. 